and that's what we, for example, for the Wilson hearing, we discussed that last time on the absolute auction as to whether you wanted to hear that case, and you said you did. So that's why we're here. Um, there are going to be another occasion, for example, our other today, which I took it upon myself to put on the docket, and I think Chad's agreed with that because that's a licensee who sort of forgot to renew. Yeah. It was, or I'm not well, I mean, it, was, it. it was a no-brainer. Yeah, it was. He didn't renew the continued auction, and y'all have to make. And you have. Well, I think you should be go out and investigate. No. Well, we had a, a prior employee of that position who was no. on no. herself. No. No. She, oh, she, really? she basically didn't tell me of anything. She would just go and do no. it. No, oh, that has had, not happened. And, and, and that's one the reason I ended up with it. Um, we're not going back. Um, because that's a long story. We won't go into. To represent the board. Hey, Jim. You would like to. Anna, the prop, I don't have a problem personally with the way you're doing this, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm catching heat. I, I group auctioneers in two different groups, or three different groups. You've got your gallery auctioneers like this. You've got your professional <laughs> auctioneers that travel and sell everything on the sun. Excuse me? Your gallery. <laughs> you work in a gallery. I do. Yeah. She's so professional, though. I, I'm, well, <laughs> all of them are professional. What they're saying is they travel, they sell horses, they sell cattle, they sell equipment, they sell everything under the sun. And then you've got your Saturday night junk auctioneers that cause all the problems, usually. Yeah. Well, but what, they all three what, have to live under the I understand that. There's the rules. Let, let me get through and my people up north, and I've even had some people from Howell's District call me, and I've had some people from New Orleans call me. They won't just back like it was, period, paragraph, where you have to seek permission from the board to investigate and then prosecute. And that's what we're talking about doing, Well, I understand that, but let's, let's put it, I don't need all that legal jargon you're going through. So the Attorney law? General's office, <laughs> the call, I don't need all that. All I want you to do is this, and it'll pacify everybody in my district, bring it before the board, let the board know what to do. After that, if the if board says investigate, tear it up, have at it, if you say come back and if you recommend a hearing, the board says have a hearing, have at it. That way I'm in the clear, and I don't get stomped on. But who's going to hear the case? But wait, I have a question. I, I don't see where that's irrelevant. Where it's relevant, I mean, I mean... <laughs> That's a bunch of crap, man. And I'll tell that gal from Attorney General that, and don't think I'm not going to go talk to Buddy Caldwell about this at a damn party he's coming to next Saturday night, Monroe, because I'm going to have a ear full with you. That is a bunch of crap. This board can sit without being biased, just like Greg sat here and like being biased against Robert Burns. We can do that. If you're that biased against that man, then you've got to recuse yourself by law. And I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> Well, let me say, first of all, let's see, this is only Lindsay. This is not Lindsay's deal. This is what the legislature put together. It's been well, the law I've been here a year, and this is the first I've heard about it. And I've asked about it three times. Why come I haven't been told about this before? The, I told you about this. No, we you, had told, you had Leslie tell me I couldn't, we couldn't no. do it, or whatever. I call her Leslie, I'm sorry. Um... All I'm saying to you is if you know the facts ahead of time, now what I'm Nobody's about. asking for the facts. All we're asking to do is if you've got enough to proceed, if you've got a complaint, we want to know what the complaint is, mm -hmm. the nature of the complaint, who it's filed against, and who the complainant is. Then you know all the facts. No, you don't know all the facts. You don't know none of the evidence, Alan. Why do you need to know who? By God, you get it in the regular court of law. It's all public record. It's all in the newspapers, all over the front of the TV screen and everything. What is the difference of us having it? I have a question, though, Jim. What's the difference between the three types of auctioneers? They all have to follow the same rules. I understand. It. What they're doing, what they're considering, is like this theory, one of these hearings you've got coming up here today. With the I, guy that ain't licensed. He was licensed, and he's auctioning. Oh, well, let me just take all that back, Tessa. I'm sorry you got auctioneers in this state that feel that auctioneers are categorized. I didn't do it. You know, I'm just, I understand, they, yeah. oh, I understand the category, categories, I do, clearly. I just didn't get the point of that. There's three categories, but do we treat them all differently? No, you don't treat anybody. Everybody's treated the same. Okay. That's not what they're saying. They're saying 
that we'll clear the, it up because I am confused. Okay, the more you set out and you go out in the public and you travel and you sell, the more exposure you have. Correct. That's what they're saying, and you're susceptible. And I don't want to say too much on this because of what's coming up in a little while. But you're susceptible to more gripes, grumbles, complaints, if that's what you want to call it. Let me put it to you this way. I mean, I'm licensed to practice in three different states. I practice all over this state. I've got seven boys that work for me. So I think I'm very much exposed. Does that mean that I can't be held to the same degree of integrity of any other lawyer? Well, that was kind of my point. That's not their point. Well, that was my point, because I didn't understand your point. That's not their point. What is their point? Their They're point. more exposed. Well, I deal with, like, you know, each auction, we have, like, 1,800 lots. I can have, you know, 1,500 consigners in a sale. I'm exposed. Well, that's 3,000 people. Right. That's right. right. I mean, there's tons of exposure. Right. There's lots. I think everybody has lots of exposure, but I don't understand why we're going to treat people with more exposure differently but than people with less exposure. Nobody be treated different. Tessa, so that's not the point. Okay, well, they I don't want witch hunts. Flat right out. They don't want witch hunts. I okay? was trying to understand. Listen, I have never, right done, a, that's what it I is. Have never done a witch hunt. I, and I don't want to be accused. They think there's something going on down here. And that ain't coming. See, but that's how we, back in the dark ages, when the first time I represented the board, that's basically how we did it. We looked at the whole thing. Look, say, you know, Gil, Gil Gilmore does a lot of auctions in New Orleans. They're not very light, okay? Um, they're very extremely competitive. However, I'm from New Orleans. I've actually gone to their auctions before. I've been invited to call at their auctions before. I mean, if I know that they're coming up before the board on an infraction, I mean, isn't it human nature that I'm going to look twice at that complaint before I decide whether or not to hear it? That's why I think you need to not, you, you need to have, um, you, you need to not know who the uh, infractor is when you vote on it. I, I think it's a real problem. How, what do you think? And, and then uh, there's one other thing that I, wa I want to mention. <laughs> also, it may be that if we have somebody like maybe three or four months before on a complaint, we know he's coming up again, and they say, oh, yeah, let's hear him. Uh, let's go ahead and hear him because he's a bad ass and we need to get him off. Name or not know the name, I think we're all big boys and girls here. We can know the name and not have any kind of mindset, conception, pre drawn and stuff like this. I would like to know the name. We need to make it easy that if there's corruption, we can get to the bottom of that corruption and solve that problem. And it's not easy now. I have a guy in my area that's been doing auctions unlicensed for years. I don't really want to turn him in because I'm a board member, plus he writes for the local little paper, and he's going to know that I turned him in and he's going to chastise me in his cop. So I just, I just kind of eat that pile of dudes and keep moving. Let him do his auctions. And I know he's getting paid, and I know he's not licensed. And I talked to him about it one time, and he's like, we have no credibility. Who's the last in the board? They don't even come to Southwest Louisiana. They're worried about problems on the other side of the state. But we have to, as well as in Jim's area. I mean, he doesn't know if somebody calls he's him not or he's is not he not taking consignment? He's not is he taking consignment? The, uh, the, the different banquets. Uh, like charity? Oh, uh, uh, well, that's our charity. charity. No, he's not he's he 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 like the, the he NRA, he but he didn't pay. He's doing it. Well, now you have to turn him. You have to. He's paid. But he's getting paid under the table. But I know he's getting paid under the table because I know guys are telling me, that, hey, man, we're paying this guy to do this. And he's taking legitimate money away from the licensed auctioneers with that aspect. But it's not an easy complaint system. And it would probably come back to me if, if that guy gets turned in on that behalf. But we've got to work to a point that, and we got we got we got our room right now. Yeah. And we just, we don't have any outside interference. I would, I would you have to. I mean, you sit on the board. You can't be aware yeah, of that. Yeah, it's been going on way before here. I've got that. Why can't you make it why, right? I, know, I know, Darlene, but why can't Ken Coleman turn you in? Oh, well, you're asking me? I'm not Ken Comer. Well, I've never seen him get the money. For the I'm not Ken. Like That's what he wants to make a motion oh, on. So no, I wanted no. to. All I want is this. Uh -huh. I'll go on with something like Larry's talking about. Make it as generic as possible. But there again, do what Hal's talking about and what I'm talking about. Lay all the cards on the dead gum table because it's public record. 
Yeah. Every bit of it is public record. When you get indicted by the grand jury in court, your name is all over the TV and the newspapers that afternoon and the next morning. And what your complaint is on you and the whole nine yards. I'm not the judge, jury, and executioner. One of y'all two are going to investigate and one of you is going to prosecute. And you're going to bring in a hearing officer from the Attorney General. I can be bi unbiased enough to make a fair decision on what needs to be. And that, I think you'll agree with that. I don't dispute that. I'm and more concerned about the fact that I know at what a hearing they could have you thrown off of the hearing itself if you've had any prior contact. And that's I'm not going to contact them. I just want to know what the complaint is. And if we know who it is. And we know who it is. Yes, we well, know who to stay away that. from. Okay, the only thing is, again, if we have a complaint tomorrow, and we're not having another meeting for y'all to review it in January, and it concerns an auction that's coming up, or there is something involved in an auction, that's, that's why I'm saying is. I've always had someone that I could talk to in between meetings. Do this. Well, right? here's the Do thing. Do this. If it's in one of these districts, call whoever's on the board. Here's Ms. what we have been doing, too. Anna calls me and gives me a generic update, like something that's, where do you want to go with this? Look into it. Do this. Do that. I don't know the people. What happened was, and in this situation that I think that has kind of brought this to, you know, up, was, I said, well, you know, Find out the paperwork. Ask them. You know, mm -hmm. find out what happened. And that's when it's all like, well, you can't ask these people that. And it's like, well, why not? We got the complaint. And I think Jim, that upset you that we asked them without you knowing because he was well, caught off guard. I was caught off guard, right. and I'm gonna tell you, and Anna, this is actually what happened. That morning, that this, that I got hit between the eyes with this, and this is the deal that you got coming up this afternoon. <laughs> I got a call from seven auctioneers, five in Texas, threatening to drop their license in Louisiana, and two in Louisiana won't know what the hell's going on. And I said, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. And finally, you know, the guys from Texas, I, I, I blew that off. First off, I didn't know who done it were. Right. I, I had no idea. Why were they calling you? Because it's in my district. The leader okay. Ben is in my district. Right. So then I, I didn't pay any attention until two high profile auctioneers in Louisiana called me. And I'm going to leave it at that. And let me say that all I did at first, because I got a complaint that I was sent out, and I think I talked right. to you, I was yeah. not subpoena. I mean, see if any of this is. Support it. Right. And she said that to me. And now that I get all this reaction, I'm that's like, when shit hit the fan. Excuse well, I mean, me. Because she sent out this and, and, and so, oh. this, Jim, I mean, the board, and the board may want to review this. Is, you know, periodically we send out subpoenas for records just to make sure you have the record. That's part of your requirement of the statute. I've been doing that in the past, random, or if I get a complaint first, just to see if, if there's anything about it. Right. It's because quite often this goes away. You first, know, after off, that. first off, let me use your mind. First off, my standard answer to anybody who calls me on something like this, she's got a job, she's doing it for the board, and that's it. Yeah. That's my standard answer. But then I start getting all this uh, feedback about what went on and on about this. And I, and about I, the, the complaint? About, <laughs> the, 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 about who complained, which I knew who the complainant was. They didn't have to tell me. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, he... he his, he, he's been around a while. This ain't his first rodeo, okay? Okay. And see, and I, I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get bounced out of this here this afternoon. Well, did you have conversations not with the other party? Nope. Not with Joe Wilson or the Well, why would you get bounced out? Well, I don't know. I don't know how far her investigation went, so that's what I'm getting at. Because I had a lot of I had a lot of auctioneers calling to me complaining to me that the man was getting a lot of deals. Well, we don't know that he's got because we haven't heard it. And most of this was I sent a, I sent a complaint to the licensee. The licensee <coughs> responded to the complaint. The complainant responded to the licensee, and that's all you're going to see today. I don't think either one's showing up. 
That's another thing. If they don't show up, they will cancel it. Well, technically, we just well, look at the record. We need to do, we need to do something one way or the other. Uh, yeah, for yeah, Anna's yeah. sake, we need to do something. I know. Well, you're not going to be able to represent yourself. You know, well, one of them can't be here because he's in Kansas City. Oh, you do have to get a hearing? Yeah. 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 No. Even though they're not here? Yes. He's sitting in. You read your agenda. You have to have a party. Both parties have submitted signs. Right. Yeah, so I don't have a party. He could be represented by the attorney. But, it, and we'll get into that Who's later. Who's in Kansas City? Wilson, yes. He couldn't be here. I think, I think Marvin and him both in Kansas. I think they're both on the foundation boat. But this doesn't have any criticism about Marvin. Right. Right. Uh, no, we, Anna, no, you you're right. right. Really, well, we yeah. should be a form. Well, let me ask you this, Hannah. Would you be comfortable with who you got five board members? Yes, and you well, get, seven total. Well, you got five board members and two concerns. Mm-hmm. Would you be comfortable talking to the, whoever's district it is? Talk with that board member and I talk with Tessa. I don't agree with that. I think you all always the same well, information. Well, wait a minute. Let me get through, huh? Yeah. Talk it over that board I'll member and, and let this board member talk to the rest of the board. And, and just inform the board what's going on. I, I would have a problem. I would, too. I'll let staff tell us what they give us generic stuff. And that, it keeps that one board member from having to discuss with six other board members and a lot of time you used to tell the same story six times. Kind of like the game. Yeah. Kind of anybody to accuse me of prejudging something or having some pre preconceived you know, exactly. Right. Right. So it's just the auctioneer's name, who the complainant was, and basically what the Good allegation job. is. Basically what's and am I sending you? that out or are you sending that out? Uh, we can do it either way, but it probably we could work out something where I prepare the, the notice to go out, then you can send it That's out. That's all we ask. Okay. All and ask. don't reply with stuff, because just keep in mind that my email is public record, and anybody can ask for it at any time. Well, why don't I send it up? My email is not no, public record. No, yours is on this. Your chairman yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, well, you send it out. Yeah, just so send it out. Just so send it out. Right. I can send it out in minutes. So, so, yeah, it's just right. this. Right. Don't you don't reply that for your thoughts or anything. Let Anna send it out. Anna send it out. All right. We'll send it out. Okay. Correspondence. All right. We've booked this whole thing. You want a motion? Do we need a motion? We don't need a motion. I think you are formalized. All right. So you have it written down and, and you say it. Be my guest, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'll make okay. a motion. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask one thing before you start. Do you want to do that right now as permanent or do you want a trial period to see how it works? You can always change. It's not okay. always a minute. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's everything we do is basically a trial. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll go to this. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, make your motion. All right, so I'll um, make a motion that we streamline the complaint process and communicate that in writing to each of the board members of what's happening on their behalf. Do you have a With second? Oh. The complainant saying both the complainer, the complainee, which is that by Complainant, yeah. What I see as, as well as a uh, small script of what the complaint is. Brief description. Brief, small brief. Brief, small brief description. Yeah. Of what the complaint is. Got it. Do you have a second? So moved. And then, if the uh, the board president decides to make any action to move forward. That that is also uh, included in the memos to us. So when I say when she calls, you know, when we hear about this, we send this out, and I'm like, we'll send out, you know, we send out the subpoenas. You want that in there? We're sending out subpoenas. Yeah, your base which she's approved to go forward with it. You want the, the licensee will know about it as soon as possible. Right. We want to make them aware so that they can provide any defense if they can. So it does have to go to here. Okay. And that, that, that does happen also. That's my motion. And I have a second. Good. Any other discussion? Before we vote? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? 